Right, I've been asked to make a video on lightweight cooking equipment, pots that we use, alternatives to uh, storage and carrying bioethanol. So, let's get into it. There's only two types of pots, or three types of pots that I use. I use the Tokes, uh, but you can use anything, to be honest. There's a lot of them, Lixardo out there, and also there is like MSR and fewers. Um, we use the 650 if I'm going out for a long time or for a few days and I'm taking a lot of food and I don't care about weight. But if I am traveling like like I did on the coast to coast, then I just want something small. So I use the Tokes 550 or something thereabouts. Everything's got to be small to carry. I'm going on a through hike, so I want to be relaxed and chilled and not carry too much stuff. Obviously, it's always great to have those... Uh, Pots that can jump in and go in on each other, uh, nesting pots, um, and obviously sometimes you just want to be able to keep your drinks nice and warm, so it always works. But like I said, that is the 550 Tokes along with the 650 Tokes bowl, I believe. Is my little storage setup because I really want to be keeping all my kit warm I decided to get myself a little MSR uh, kettle now this is the one that Aaron my little um, hiking partner likes to use uh, I think he used this on the coast to coast perfect little pot and I believe it weighs in and the uh, MSR weighs in at 126 grams, whereas the Tokes 650 weighs in at 117 grams. So the Tokes is it's only 10 grams lighter, but you know, you've got um, a nice little handle. Whereas in the Tokes, I've been known to just get my things a little bit burnt. The 550 is weighing in, bearing in mind I've got this little pool thing here. Because sometimes it can get hot. It's just easier to pull the lid off. But that weighs in at 72 grams. So that's the pots that I like to use. I used to always, I used to always go out with my jet boil. Um, but to me, it's big, it's bulky, and it weighs 438 grams. Bearing in mind, all I've got in there. I haven't even added my gas to that yet. To be honest, I don't take it out at all now. I stick to taking out these two. So this is, uh, I don't know if it's, it's not, a, uh, it's not an original Trangia, but it is a nice little 64 gram pot to put my bioethanol in. Um, I like using this one, it's perfect, it's brilliant, but I prefer to use my speeds the stove bearing in mind it's 14 grams so this is as lightweight as you can get or is it that will come apparent later obviously when i go out and i take this one then i take that i take a little wind which is chopped down to the 550 i'll take a different wind deflector otherwise which will be this one, it's another speedster it's for the speedster stove again so that's 60 grams plus the speedster stove put it this way I used to take this out and I used to think that this was an absolute waste of money waste of time it's too big I can't see how much fuel I've got left and I just don't like it in fact I'm going to throw it Whoops. I actually use, I bought four of these, so four of these cost me about 12 quid. So they're a litre each. 12, I think it was 12, 14 quid. Four for 14 quid. What I do with these is I then break it down and put it into something like that, which bearing in weight is what, 25 grams? So that's 25 grams, or you can go really low 
and use one of these. Now this is my ultimate carefree night out. So this is this is this is what I would take for a single night out for cooking. There's an evening meal and a breakfast. Bearing in mind, 30 grams in that. The bottle weighs 10 grams full. The bottle weighs 40 grams or 50 grams. But these are <laughs> shampoo bottles. I emptied the shampoo out of them and just use these now because I think they're absolutely superb and they're just perfect so I ended up using different types of bottles so I was using that one if I was going on a multi-day hike then I'd take a few of them if I was going on four nights I'd take one of them um, like I said going out and buying all these kind of bottles I use them for everything so I've got oil for when I'm out in the field through hikes in the hot weather so that'll be suntan lotion I did try these out but these were an absolute ball ache in fact they let air out so therefore they're not exactly doing the job so I threw them away back to this so this is like I said this is my ultimate lightweight kit so if I was if I was going out for one night, my speedster, my fuel, and my titanium kit, and obviously this is how it's set up. So I would that's only a quarter of a bottle. Do that. Try and do this all on the scale so you know kind of get a, a feel for what and how much it weighs. I have bent mine a little bit, and funny enough, I've cut the rim off as well. And that is my little speedster stove setup, although it's not perfect. But that is a lightweight equipment that I use. So it's the speedster stove the air, uh, so the wind deflector. I can either have one of two pots, so that'd be 214 grams with my stove. Obviously the wind deflector has a, uh, these prongs to hold up or for your tub to sit on. So basically the total weight of my cooking equipment is for one night roughly and i say roughly because i've just had a quarter of that out is roughly less than 300 grams 270 probably and that is my ultimate hiking ultimate through hiking kit or making it even lighter i can take that one away and i had that one that's 205 grams i've got my fuel i've got a way of keeping the pot up with my stand and i've got the uh, the actual fuel burner itself Getting it even lighter than that, you take the stand away and you put this on instead. But that then takes the stand away. So what I had to do was then make two pieces to go onto the speedster stove, which I'll show you now. But this will probably drive it overweight. So that's 176 grams. That's a full cook equipment for a through hike. The stand I kind of made at work, and this is how it would sit out when I'm. Now you can buy these, but I just made mine instead. So, yeah. I don't go out for luxury, that would be my full shot. So, that's the way I would go out. There is another ultra lightweight. Um, stove though and I'll show you that now now this is the other ultra lightweight stove from Aliexpress uh, Tokes I don't think it is Tokes I think these are made by multiple people but the Tokes one is I 
think it's about eight quid, eight between eight and fifteen. So I ain't too sure to be honest. I'll try and stick the price up below. Um, so this is the stove, and this is the es. They reckon it's the Esbit stove, even though this has uh, got tokes on it. So we don't fully know who it's made by. So this is the other ultimate lightweight stove. Um, I think I used this on the Pennon Way uh, for a couple of nights, just while I had some Esbit pills left, or Esbit fuel tablets left. So it's 15 grams. And you have to buy, obviously, the uh, Esbit, Esbit fuel tabs. Personally, I don't think you'd need Esbit. I think you could just get any tablets. It's really lightweight. Like I said, you can have that with the 550 tokes. And it sits, it's perfect. I can pick it up with one finger. Da, 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 da. And uh, yeah, I like that. That's really good for 91 grams. But obviously, I will use my wind deflector. And that's how I'd have my wind deflector as well. So it does work really well. Like I said, it's lightweight. And I think this is, like I said, a setup that I used on the Pennine Way. But there's multiple different setups. For my speedster as well, and it's still only 155 grams for the full cook equipment. And it's got tablets on as well. Bearing in mind though, you will take more. I know I've kind of run out. But, but like I said, I am completely either tablets or bioethanol. I don't really use the, uh, I don't really use the gas anymore to be honest. I just feel I like the peace and quiet whenever I'm out there. So that is basically a few ideas for yourselves. I don't, I would never, you know, try and get you to buy these because it's your own choice. It's what you want to carry. Um, this is all through hike equipment. So it's all what I would personally use. Oh, just one more point. If you are putting this into your bag, just remember that you don't want that piercing either your water bottle or anything. So. That's why I kind of stick my tablets in a little plastic back around them. But yeah, like I said, these are from AliExpress. Um, yeah, really good stove. But I will stick with my main stove, which is the speed. So as you can see, for most of the videos that we made, I've used this up in plenty of mountains, and I just think they're absolutely brilliant. I've even cooked steaks on these. Um, yeah, you can cook a variety of meals just on that little thing there. Absolutely superb. Like I said, there's a variety of pots that I like to use. Um, that is for a multi-day hike. Uh, these are for my oils and my uh, suntan lotion. This is for like coffee. Uh, this is for my herbs. And this is for my bioethanol. On my, I still can use this on multi-day hikes. I think I took four of these on the South Downs. So um, yeah, and these I just use for toothpaste tablets. I don't take any toothpaste with me. I just take toothpaste tablets and a toothbrush. So. That is what I use as all my lightweight equipment. So there's some alternatives as well when you go hiking. So say if you want to take some eggs, I usually pad these out with a piece of paper. Um, I'll have two eggs in the morning, two eggs in the evening, uh, but I just extra protection. Shove your egg in. And then you can clip these to the outside of your backpack. If you get these during the holiday season, they'll probably be about 50p. So these are, these are brilliant. Um, also, if you're looking for uh, a lightweight spoon, this is a four class one, so this is from Decathlon. Um, and I use this, I think I use this on the coast to coast because it's the only spoon I could find that would fit in the 50. Really good spoon, perfect. I didn't really like the, the long titanium ones, but this has a long spork. Yeah. It's like I said, another piece of cook equipment that I probably won't live without because I just like it and enjoy it. I have got the uh, the titanium one. This is another one again off of um, AliExpress. So I don't use these very often. I don't take it out very often, to be honest, because to be honest, it's just a ball leg. That could puncture my um, water bottle or anything. I don't really use these very often. So like I said, you can either go with that one or that. So not much in it, is there really? So the four class weighs in at. 12 grams, and the titanium one, 17 grams. Also for 
let me just whip this away all right so before i go uh, this was my complete setup for when i did the coast to coast i had the msr pocket rocket um it's like i said it's it's an old one but it's a, still a really good one it's lightweight as well and it's all you need is a torch and you're away to go So this was my setup for the coast to coast. Like I said, it's quite bulky, it's quite big. But to be honest, let's show you what it's like when it's uh, all condensed down. So if you've got the small jet boil one, it's uh, a bit real easy fitting the 50 along with your spoon. Um, what I did for the four class spoon though is I did, did just cut a tiny bit off the top just so the fact that I hate rattle, I really can't stand it. But when I'm hiking, it all fits nice and close together. And then I did just keep this straight into its um, pot instead. So that was my complete cook equipment for when I went away on the coast to coast. This has got me through the last couple of years. Like I said, the, all this equipment that we use, we don't review it the moment we get it, put it that way. We'll, we'll use it for about a year before we tell you anything about it, hence the tokes, pots, and everything else. Now this is a down jacket that I've been using for the past, um, for the past, like I said, year and a half maybe. Um, it weighs in at 340 grams. And this is the, this is a decaf one. In, duck down, brilliant. So get your eyes on decathlon, have a look. Okay, so like I said, it's a duck down one, uh, 340 grams, and it's just another through hiking jacket that I love. Um, I believe it's four class, but it's a four class down jacket, and it is, like I said, it's just another one of those fantastic pieces of equipment that's lightweight and perfect. One air mat, you know, if one pops, breaks, go, starts going down, usually it's the baffles that go. So I just get another one. This is the Neoair Exolite Firma Rest. Um, my dog's barking his head off. 488 grams. Also moving on with air pumps. You just see my air bed that I use and this is one of the pumps that I've got. I believe there's another one. Uh, that is the Flextail. That was a Flex, uh, uh, Flextail Tiny Pump. And then they introduced the second one. That pump is 84 grams. This is the Flex Tail Tiny Pump 2 times 2. So I think everybody's got these, but they're really good. Got to keep that permanently on there for my for my airbed. But that is just a few nifty things that we take out as a lightweight hiker. It's all good. This is my last quick one. The Aero Presco coffee setup on the move. So again, speeds the stove. Filters. Pot stand. Coffee filters. Chop done.
coffee on the go. So this is possibly the last thing that I think is super uber right now, which is this flex tail pillow. Ergonomic, whichever way you want it. Depends how you want it, depends how you want to sleep. And this goes obviously straight over your air mat as well. So, and excuse that, I was peeling spuds the other day. That is probably the best thing I've had this year. That is wicked. So there you are, roughly 140 odd grams. Bring that. 